What's up? Hey, collective. Let me make sure this thing is not super duper close up. I got messages for you. I decided to come on here with a reading for the collective. Because I done did all the signs. I said, you know, I'm going to just do collectives on the weekends if I'm not busy. Or, you know what I mean? I don't really be wanting to do anything like that. I don't really like too many people. You know what I'm saying? So getting out just to hang out just because... Nope. Them prices is too high down there on the strip. I rarely drink like that. So guess what? Let's come on here with a reading for y'all. Um, these messages are for the collective. Um, all signs. Y'all could be um there could be some type of ending right now, okay? Maybe y'all could be grieving a situation. Something ended here abruptly. This could have been some type of betrayal or um some of you guys may be fire signs. Okay, or you could be, um, maybe you feel betrayed. You could have Gemini placements. You could have fire placements, or you could have water placements, either or. Um, maybe you feel betrayed about a choice that was possibly made. Maybe you made a choice. Or somebody here, like, feels like you betrayed them because you're choosing to hold back or preserve your energy or, um, or whatever, I, something like get, just do get tarot just straight up tarot so let's tap in what is the messages for the collective they said go with straight tarot so I'm like okay what are the messages for the collective spirit guides angels and ancestors of my highest good allow me to channel the messages here I feel like you're just not happy with the situation or you're just disinterested I'm getting this energy you're like hmm whatever like where is my so i hope y'all having a, a wonderful saturday chill i'm like where is my um okay anyway so for the collective yeah we have the strength card yeah holding back okay you could be a leo you could have leo placements i feel like you could be just Holding back the urge to say something or holding back. I feel like there's a lot of quietness. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, the High Priestess. I'm picking up an energy. It's like wondering like why you're so quiet or they're confused. They're like, what well, do you love me? Or like, I don't understand. Like, what's going on? What did I do? Did I do something? I feel like you're just in this energy where you just want to hold back, collective. Okay. I feel like maybe you could be being more loyal to yourself at this time or something here. Like, you just want to be to yourself. Like, you're holding back your energy. Yeah, I feel like you made a decision. We got judgment here. I'm getting Leo, Aries, um, Sagittarius, and we have Scorpio here. So, there is somebody here that's under judgment or maybe you have awakened to something. You have awakened to some type of secret or something that you know, 313 on the clock. What's the message here for... Yeah, you could have awakened that you needed to stand your ground or defend yourself or you needed to block somebody off. Or you could have awakened that somebody was trying to attack you. To keep you stuck, eight of swords, you know something, the high priestess. Some of y'all could be very intuitive or this could be something here in divination. So I feel like this could be a time or a phase where you're going through a, re a rebirth right now or you could be getting getting some type of forgiveness or somebody here is under judgment. Give me one more card. Then we could go on and clarify this energy. Yeah, we have the Nine of Cups. So I feel like after you stand your ground, then you get some sort of wish or a wish comes true for you. That's going to bring um, contentment, collective. It's going to bring contentment, gratitude. I feel like you're going to be very like um, something here that has to do with like you getting some type of awards, rewards here with this nine of cups. You could be a Pisces, Leo, or a fire sign, just period. Okay, yeah, something you're going to be happy about. You're going to get some type of success, fortune. Okay. Um... See. So what's the strength card? Why the holding back or why the courage or what is this what is this? Or somebody's trying to influence you or persuade you to do something. 
but I just feel like you're holding back. You don't have to be a Leo. You, you could just be holding back. Maybe you're just like, nah, I'm just gonna, or this may have to do with like bribing or somebody could be bribing an individual, okay, to stay loyal or, or something, okay? But I feel like there's somebody here that's under judgment. Somebody's not saying something about some type of attack that they did. Yeah, we have the, the Hierophant, okay. So yeah, staying loyal to, in your commitments, staying loyal in your marriage, or if you're in some type of um, society or whatever this is, or you could be just staying loyal to the most high God. Yeah. Or I'm, I'm picking up, okay, give me this Hierophant with the strength. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. Like a lot of waiting, planning. You could be like staying loyal to something that you've invested in. You're like, man, I invested into this. Something here that has to do with like tradition. This could be like a government entity. Somebody's planning to do something. Okay, this could be some type of long-term investment. That energy is just like, no, I'm just going to stay put. I'm just going to, I'm not, yeah. Or an investigation with the hermit. Hmm. What's this um, Hierophant, Seven of Pentacles? You could be dealing with a Taurus. Or somebody here is bribing. Yeah, five of swords. Yeah, I, um, you see, I was just finna be like, you know, like, so there's some type of discrimination here when it comes to an organization. I'm hearing something about a facility. This may have to do with something which you, you've you invested in, collective. Y'all could be, um, or this could be some type of betrayal. Or somebody's like envying you, maybe because you, you, you're you well respected or somebody's like envying you because you stand loyal to the most high God. The judgment and the hierophant is out here. That is the, that's the most high God to me. When the judgment and the hierophant is here, that's, that's, that's them grand overseers, baby. And then we have the um, hermit here. Somebody could be playing this. What's the Seven of Pentacles with the Five of Swords? What's the plan? Okay, somebody's mad because you're moving on. You're leaving or you're transitioning. You're healing. The Six of Swords is like you are being guided to move forward past some type of mind games. Whoever this is, they like to stay stuck in conflict or they just love conflict. They like chaos. They like, you know what I mean? This energy could be selfish here. So you could be moving on to something better or maybe you're just not telling nobody what you're working on with the moon, the eight of pentacles or something here is an illusion. What's the six of swords, five of swords? Yeah, three of swords. Yeah, so somebody's moving towards an X. It's like somebody's like going backwards. They're going from the five of swords from playing my games to the six of swords like they're being guided, but they're going back to what broke them. They're going back to like a love triangle or they're going back to somebody here that they divorced from or somebody that caused them a great deal of depression. I hope this ain't you, Collective. You ain't going back to nobody that caused you a great deal of depression or heartache. Because I know sometimes it could be, you know, it could be difficult, you know what I mean, to let go of a tie, like, Man, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. That heart be right on that goddamn sleeve when you know you should stop or you know you should, yeah. So, yeah, we have the, um, okay. So, what's this three of swords? So, I feel like a lot of uh, crying, yeah, the queen of cups in reverse. So, a lot of crying, heartbreak. I feel like somebody's just mad because they have to move on to their ex or they have to move on to go back to lies or or depression or grief or sadness or they have to go back to these third parties or what was just like low vibrational instead of like um because you're holding back that's what i'm getting you're holding back your energy you're holding back your power with the with this eight of i mean not eight but with this strength card here which is leo which is eight you're holding back your energy, your power. That's what the strength talks about, your libido. Also, somebody here could be waiting from some type of documents here from the um from the um from some type of organization. Okay. I feel like once you get these documents or whatever this is that's coming to you collective, you're gonna move the hell on and you're gonna leave all the baggage behind. Now, for some of you, your exes is gonna want you to travel to them. I'm getting that's a no. Mm -mm. 
Six of Swords, the Three of Swords. Yeah, so somebody's addicted to pain. The devil. Somebody's addicted to pain. They're addicted to heartbreak. They're they're just addicted to it. Either this could be an energy that's codependent on you, or maybe you're codependent on your ex. Somebody's addicted to these like destructive behaviors. Somebody has a hold on the energy. The devil has a hold on the person. But it's like they want to be there. Because when you look at this devil card here, which is just, uh, when you look at the devil card here, these are two people that's chained. They can get out of that devil energy, but they choose to be in that energy. The chain is loose. So it's all about like, do you want to do this or you want, are you so scared? Somebody's a scared, scaredy cat. They're scared to heal. So it's like, you know what? Let me just go on back down to my, my lustful behavior or temptation, lust, materialism. And yeah, there's like a lot attached to this. Codependency, materialism, money, drugs, all types of shit. So it's like they think they're being guided or they think they're healing, but really they're going into destruction. Destruction is this devil card because they're fear of changing. They have a fear of changing. For some of you, somebody traveled to go and do spell work and now they're under judgment because of that. They could have been doing this on your public platforms. The Six of Wands. If you guys are on a public platform. This could be if you're on IG, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, or whatever this is that you, you know, Facebook or Instagram. Okay. Somebody did not want you to receive some type of public recognition or they didn't want you to be confident. Um, I really don't like the word popular because, like, we grown as hell. They didn't want you to be, like, um, seen, put it like that. Yeah. Somebody also did a love spell and it's backfired on you. Child, you could be dealing with a Leo, a Taurus, an Aquarius, a Libra, a Capricorn, a Fire sign. Um... Yeah, and a Pisces. What's the judgment here? So there's some type of rebirth. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's work is under judgment. Somebody's working on themselves. Or they're working on for getting forgiveness. Or they're putting in the work to master themselves or build themselves up. Or whatever this is that has to do with like you or mastering or building or being like um focused. Whatever that, whatever you do for work, collective, you're on the right path. Don't don't let nobody tell you that you're not. We have the judgment, the eight of pentacles. You are on the right path. This is what you're supposed to be doing. That's your inner calling. So yeah, so if y'all supposed to be models, or if y'all supposed to be um, financial consultants or financial advisors advisors or if you're supposed to be um the type of energy that's supposed to be um having a lot of properties or if you're in real estate then that's what you're supposed to be doing or if you are a reader or whatever this is that you do you're you're exact you're right on the path don't feel bad okay right now you could be going through a transition or this could be something changing or transitioning here when it comes to your work or you could be awakening about Something. What's this Eight of Pentacles in the Judgment? Nine of Cups. Here we go. Either what somebody is, the, you could be having a rebirth when it comes to your work. Whatever you're working on or whoever this is that's working on something, this is under judgment. Something here that's tied to money. Yeah. Okay. We have the King of Wands that just flew out of there. So why is the King of Wands showing up here with the Nine of Cups? Okay, Six of Cups. I feel like you're leaving the past in the past and you're just going to focus on work. Okay. Something that this King of Wands did to you was very unforgiving, collective. Or this could have been a Nine of Cups type of energy. Or this energy possibly made an offer to this King of Wands, and I feel like this is unforgiving at all. This energy was careless. Or I feel like if you were dealing with this Leo or Aries or Sagittarius or Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, I feel like this energy was very cynical. I'm also picking up this person, like, went to what did they do? Give me the King of Wands. What they do? Why is this unforgiving? Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody here just doesn't, they're not, un, they're unstable. They don't care, they're lazy. So, this could be a Leo Virgo type cuss. I feel like this energy is like um, highly unstable. This may be somebody here that's 
that has a rose tinted view of the past. So it's like they want they want another chance to work on something or they want another chance to build something between y'all two. So this is why they're coming in with their offer. They're coming in to seduce you, wine and dine you, date you, and all of that. But when we look at the King of Wands and we got the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse, this is somebody that they, they could be a gambler. They don't even it's like they're a visionary, yeah. They're very charming, but this energy leads with their wine. They could be very um egotistical, I'm hearing. But they're lazy. They don't put in enough work. So I feel like you're leaving the past in the past. You don't give a fuck if this King of Wands wants to work together with you or if they want to partner up or whatever, if they want to build something with you. I feel like judgment a judgment call has been made. Okay, and if you ask a certain question, like, well, should, should you leave the past in the past? It's yes, the fuck? Yeah, and I feel like the energy is worried because you are going to leave them, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody possibly just did too much, and it was, they was very careless, and, and it's just it's just unforgivable. Especially, especially if this energy did not take accountability for whatever the fuck they did. Okay, this could have been... Mm -hmm. Somebody's worried that you're going to fall in love or they're worried that you're going to meet your actual twin. What's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse? This lazy-ass person. We got the star energy. I'm getting this energy was hoping that they could slow you down. Yeah. They didn't want you to be productive or they didn't want you to be seen as a star. Or what's the star card? What's the Nine of Pentacles? Somebody could be healing their addictions. We got the death card and the star. So there could be something changing. Okay, I'm seeing Scorpio, Aquarius. Maybe you could be you could be transitioning. You could be changing or something is changing about you. What's the star? This person was hoping that you were in something or you would just you would just stop. What's the star in the death card? Some of y'all could be earth angels. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, but I feel like you put your motherfucking foot down. Queen of Swords here. I feel like you express some type of clear boundaries, or if not, if not you, because I'm getting this energy wanted you to give to them. They wanted you to, to share your wealth, or they wanted you to be generous. Yeah, because they know you get a lot of support, and they know things move fast for you. Or there's some type of rapid change coming for you, collective, or a rapid movement or whatever, okay? But Queen of Swords is Libra. Could be Gemini or an Aquarius. I'm seeing Aquarius here as well as um, it could be, you could be on a Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio, Cuz, Virgo, Libra. And I'm seeing Aquarius as well. But I feel like you express some type of clear boundaries that somebody here is just lazy. They don't want to put in the work. They take too long. Um, this could be an unstable. This person could be a deadbeat father. Like, this is the type of energy that possibly don't even take care of their kids. And you could be putting your foot down with this energy because they want to partner up with you in hopes that you would give to them. The Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. Yeah. Give me the Seven of Wands. I feel like you could be standing your ground. I feel like there could be a lot of people trying to attack you with spell work. Yeah, and they're worried, nine of swords, that something is coming back. There's a lot of nightmares and anxieties. I feel like, specifically, somebody gets attacked and they're sleeping and they wake up out of the blue, like, scared. What's the seven of wands, nine of swords? They have these vivid dreams. Yeah, the four of wands. I'm getting somebody's, like, worried, like, is somebody going to kick their door in or... They're worried about their foundation or the stability or the bailiff. I'm hearing something about a bailiff. Yeah, and they will have to leave their home or a bailiff coming in and, and putting somebody out. Y'all, I, I got some stories for days. I, boy, I'm going to tell y'all. But this could be worried about like if, okay. So I'm getting the energy is also worried that you're going to be getting married or you're going to have stability and, and the foundation with somebody else. And I'm getting if you do, that's just, that's on you. Yeah, somebody had their chance and they like they, they played around, basically. They played the fuck around. So it's like, I feel like you're going to have victory in getting this Ten of Pentacles or you're going to have victory with building with somebody else or building some type of longevity or uh, empire or having like, yeah. 
I feel like that's where you're going to get victory at when it comes to your partnerships. We got Aries, Gemini, and we have Leo. What's this worry about? What's the worry about with the Nine of Swords? With the guilt? Yeah, that you're going to be a celebrity or a big star. I feel like this energy regrets blocking you. I feel like this energy knew that you were a good omen. And they're still having hope that y'all can come together in marriage or 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 whatever. Yeah, after they've been in and out your life with the Knight of Wands. What's the star card for Wands? Yeah, I feel like this energy is watching you. Or this could be a celebrity watching you. They're curious. They could be getting some knowledge from you. We got the Magician because you're very powerful. Your words hold weight. You could be a very powerful magician, okay? So I feel like this energy could be learning from you. They're learning how to manifest or, or whatever this is. What's the Page of Swords? Seven of Swords. Wow. Either this energy is watching you sneak away. Or you watching somebody sneak away. It's like the energy where you, you're watching somebody and you're like, I know you're watching me or something like that. Because the Seven of Swords is looking back at the Page of Swords. It's like, yeah, I know you see me. Yeah, I'm still stealing that or I'm still taking that or I'm still I'm still going to try to trick you. And I know that you know that I'm trying to trick you. I know that you know that I'm trying to betray you. I'm still going to try, try it anyway. But I'm going to cover it up or something like that. You got the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's like somebody's like watching you. Like, do you know that I'm trying to like steal from you or or not? <laughs> Who's the Seven of Swords? Yeah, okay. I feel like you already know. Or what's the Seven of Swords? The Tower. Yeah, because they run right into a tower. They're not even looking with their weird ass. They're so busy focused on you with the Seven. Look at the Seven of Swords. This energy could be focused on you. Maybe you're the one that's watching someone. Maybe you're the one that's fine or whatever. But somebody's so focused on you and they like, do you know that I'm trying to get away with this 2222? Do you know that I'm trying to leave and sneak off or whatever? Or maybe this you that's sneaking off and somebody like, yeah, I see you trying to sneak off from me or I see you strategically trying to leave behind or, or break up or I don't know. But it's like, as soon as somebody try to get away, they get caught they get caught, period, by this tower. And they get exposed, the Ace of Swords, Scorpio, Aries, Energy, we got Aquarius. What's the tower? This is a sudden change or a sudden like chaos. Yeah, this King of Pentacles, somebody here gonna be taking an L. This materialistic masculine, this gold digger, this energy has this obsess obsession with wealth. Okay, so this energy could be indulging in a lot. They could be very greedy, stingy, a cheater. This energy could have probably tried to steal from you. And I feel like you already caught them or you seen them. Could have been this King of Pentacles. They wanted to steal something, whether it's material um, or money or, or energy, time, or whatever this is. I feel like you caught on because they still left them two swords in the bag. So it's like this energy wasn't trying to make a decision anyway with the two of swords leaving behind. They were still stuck between a rock and a hard place. So I feel like either you could have uh, pulled through the tower down and you made a decision for them. Or this could have been some sudden insight that this energy is a loser or a user and they're financially inept. and th But they're obsessed with your wealth or something like that. Give me this king of pentacles in reverse see the six of cups but they want to come and reconcile mm -mm. nine of cups somebody here is getting a wish and i feel like it could be you 
Mm -mm. Somebody wants to have sex with you. We got the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups as sex. Yeah, and what, right along with the Nine of Wands. I feel like this energy could be communicating with you, talking about coming to your house or um also I'm I'm picking up also wow we see the Nine of Wands with the Eight of Wands, the Cherry, the Eight of Swords. I feel like police is gonna be called. The cherry with the ace of swords, and once the police is called, somebody's going to jail. We got the temperance, five of cups. Also, somebody could be mourning a death, an actual death. My condolences. Also picking up this could be you creating something new you could have some type of inspiration or a sudden urge to create whatever this is it's going to bring you some type of emotional support i mean emotional um stability okay um this could be a wish coming true maybe you have a project that you have been sitting on a back burner for a while and you're like man i'm about to make this part i'm about to make this shit shake i'm about to do this this project that you're thinking about creating is going to bring you a lot of stability, okay? Whatever this is. But also, I'm picking up somebody who wants to sleep with you, though. What's this nine of wands? I mean, nine of cups, ace of wands. The three of pentacles. This could be people that you work with that want to team up and sleep, with, sleep together. Or this could be... What is this collaboration? Three of pentacles. Six of Swords, the Three of Wands. Is this somebody talking about putting you in a third party here? This distorted ass masculine that's on the bottom of this deck. Nine of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. This could be somebody like teaming up to send somebody to come towards you, Collective. They're like, no, nah, go towards, go towards that. Um, some of y'all could be Aquarius, Capricorn. Y'all could be Aries, Pisces. Somebody could be trying to send somebody to come towards you. Like going towards that uh that Aries or that Capricorn or that Aquarius or or go towards that person and see if you can expand with them. So it's like they're teaming up. This could be like three masculines or three feminines in a group. Like go towards that person and see what you can see what you can get. I'm trying to tell you. Go towards them. But this energy is like highly unstable. Somebody's being told to come towards you to get some type of wish from you. Ace of Wands to sleep with you? What's the Six of Swords, Three of Wands? Because I'm getting hungry. We have the Knight of Swords. I can't make this up. This energy is very much ambition, ambitious in coming towards you to expand with you or to grow. Like, they're ambitious as fuck. And they're driven to succeed. This person can have Gemini placements. What's this Knight of Swords? Yeah, the justice. It's like they so gun ho on causing some injustice to you or doing something unfair. It's like they come rushing in, but then at the same time, they don't take accountability for the shit that they did. Look, the five of swords. This is their mind game so that they can run in and out. I feel like y'all done caught on to this bullshit or this, this weak ass behavior. And, and you're just, yeah. Some, something here that has to do with like um, karma because I feel like this energy just was not fair. You could have been dealing with a Libra or a um, a Gemini. What's this justice in reverse? Yeah, somebody here has a yeah the the will of fortune. This may have to do with like finances, money. Something here that has to do with like overnight success or you being a millionaire. The Queen of Pentacles in the upright with the Will of Fortune to me is a millionaire. That's what you're destined for success. You're destined to be a boss. Okay. You're destined to be rich as fuck. It's just simple. You're, you're destined to be provided for. Because the Queen of Pentacles is not only that, that someone that can provide for herself or not only someone that is a good mother, but her counterpart is the King of Pentacles. Somebody that's wealthy, they're generous, they're loving, they're faithful, they're loyal. So this is what you're, you're going to be getting victory here. I feel like you're going to be moving forward, collective. It's in your destiny to be, this, to be in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Like everything around you just grows. Grounded, stable, mature. Will of fortune. Yeah, something here is going to be unpredictable and it's going to turn in your favor. I'm getting you manifested this with the magician. Your gifts alone. You manifested this outcome. 
and I'm getting this here, but I feel like you are not going to know when this is going to happen. This is unpredictable. Like no one knows when that wheel is going to turn. You just know when it's here, it's here. Whoever you are. Yeah, so I feel like yeah, something, a turning point is happening in your life right now. And whoever this energy, they just can't come with you. This person is not going to take accountability at all, collective. They cannot roll with you. They're not going to do all that. This person is going to be in the two of swords. No, or I feel like you need to be the one in this two of swords. Like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I can make a decision on your ass. Or maybe you just go ghost like sayonara. I'm out. Don't even tell nobody. Just be gone. The fuck? What's the queen of swords? I mean, queen of pentacles and the will of fortune. Yeah, the world. It was fated for this cycle to close out. It was karmic anyway. Completion. I feel like you have gained all the experience that you needed to gain. And I, this is how we end in the reading with the world card. You have gained all the experience that you needed from dealing with this loser. From dealing with this user that want to come and mooch off of you or take from you. This is a karmic masculine now. And they just, I don't know, like... I feel like things are looking good for you, though. You're going to be celebrating. Maybe you're going to be traveling. I got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Something could be significant about those seasons as well. But I feel like something here was destined. It was fated to end it, just like the way it is. Okay? You have accomplished this already. So, I don't know. Nine of Wands or Two of Wands. Yeah, somebody's like persistent and coming with you or trying to come with you here while you make this choice to get this ace of ace of pentacles everywhere you turn it's like an energy is like i'm in love with you i'm in love with you i'm in love with you you like man mm -mm. And, and, and on top of that they're still not going to take accountability they're still not going to admit their wrongs. They're still going to be in injustice in reverse. They're still going to be unfair, especially when it comes to their communication style. They're going to be unfair. They're not going to tell you that they attacked you with a third party. They're not going to tell you that they work together with this third party to attack you collectively. They're not going to tell you that. They're not going to tell you that. Mm -mm. What's the messages for the collective? What's the five of swords? Damn. Yeah, this energy is holding a grudge on you. Why? Why are they holding a grudge on you? There's too many cards. Why is the grudge being held? Because you you block them or you you're this could be some type of energetic block. Say if you're not, you haven't blocked this person on Facebook, IG, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, right? This could be some type of energetic block, okay? Where you're not letting this person in your energy anymore, collective. So this is why they're holding a grudge on you. Or somebody is out for blood, they're mad. They're like, oh, you blocked me. Okay, and the fuck? They was hating on your spiritual gifts anyway, for some of you, you're very spiritual. You're very intuitive. You tapped in. And this energy was trying to force you into competing. Listen, they were trying to force you into some type of competition. And I feel like you're just like, nah. You don't compete for dick. You don't compete for... You ain't competing for shit. Okay? The only thing that you're, you're, you're on path when it comes to building. Okay? Some of you guys have a North Node in Virgo, Taurus. Okay? Could be Capricorn as well. But you're, you're here to be a master builder. I know if you have a, um, a North Node in Taurus, you're here to be a master builder, to put that work in. Not only just to be in the Empress energy, but you, you're supposed to be a boss too as well. Make money for yourself. Have a savings. You know what I mean? Be stable and grounded because in our past life, we use somebody else's finances and their resources. So in this life, we are supposed to create harmony, peace. But this energy wants you to be in some five of wands, low vibrational shit. And I'm getting, you're like, no, no. They want you to fight over them. Whoever this is, this masculine, feminine, whoever, I don't know. It's some low life shit though. They want you to fight over them. Yeah, you ain't got time for that. I feel like you're just like, nah, they lost their chance. 
Yeah, a karmic friend that's trying to look like you, be like you, talk like you. This person always come up in this reading. Whoever this karmic friend is. This person wanted you compete, wanted you to compete against a karmic friend. This could have been their karmic friend. And this could have been their karmic friend that tried to get this energy to be like you, to impersonate you. I'm getting that in workout. Give me this karmic friend and impersonator. For some of you, y'all have a karmic friend that's an impersonator right now. Like, mm -mm. listen. It's like this energy has beef with you, but they trying to compete with you, though. Because they see that you're powerful. And they know this energy is trying to chase you to be in a fucking romantic love affair or be in a third party situation. And it's just not happening. So why are they rushing in with this Knight of Swords? Cock blocking. To cock block you. So that way you don't move on. Yeah, they're trying to come in and chase you. But I feel like you're just uninterested in this energy. You don't care how into the... Like, what, what's the Knight of Swords? Nobody got time. Yeah, the hot new affair is in reverse. I feel like, yeah, y'all could have... This person does not want you to date nobody else. They're trying to block you from dating or being in a, a new affair with somebody else. <sighs> but still not take accountability, child. Mm -mm. King of Pentacles in reverse with a weird ass user. Yeah, this person knows you're not easy. Don't want it if it's not easy in reverse. Yes, they do. They do want it. They want it the easy way out. This person, they want it the easy way out. They could be simping on you. Bad reputation. They could have been trying to ruin your reputation. This may have to do with like the way you dress or your photos or... When you see this simping on you... Look at him in the back, looking like a fucking creep. I don't know if y'all see that. This energy is in the shadows, like, watching your ass. And they don't think that you know. This energy is like a creep. Like, they really be watching you in the shadows. I'm picturing, like, a room. They be in, child, and it's dark. Okay, and this is, like, you on the screen. They watch you like, what is they doing? Like, the only thing that lit up is lit up is their damn phone. <laughs> okay? Let's close it down. Yeah, money got jacked. <sighs> this person like, done lost all their money. They could have gambled it all with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. What's this getting evidence? Proof, folk, facts of a Karen. So maybe some of y'all know who this person is that's like mad at you because this masculine is or, or feminine is reflecting over the love that they have with you. Or maybe they could be dreaming about you or whatever. Or they got some type of photo proof or evidence. Or maybe you know who this Karen is that keeps fucking bothering you. Or whoever this person is that's all in their ego or, or whatever. Okay. It's just, um, yeah, now they haunted from what they did in the past. So this energy could be trying to study you. Ooh, we Let's see. What else do we got in closing for the collective? Oh no, that's the wrong way. What else do we got in closing for the collective? Yeah, you, the true twin healed masculine. I feel like this person is not a, a healed. That came out in reverse. So maybe this is not your true twin. Maybe this is a karmic twin, or because they they they're distorted, a distorted twin. This energy, they feel like you're leaving them for good. And you are. I'm getting. There's no one like you. I feel like we are meant for each other. But they still do not want to take accountability. Because I'm getting if this energy was to take accountability. And if they was to actually tell you everything that they have done behind your back. The justice is here. And the three of wands is here. This let me know they did something unjust behind your back. Look at this shit. Now that I'm looking at it. They did something unjust behind your back. You didn't even see the unfairness that was being done behind your back, but they did it anyway. And then this energy is going to rush in in hopes that you will forgive them, reconcile with them, love on them, like nothing ever happened. Because that destiny, the will of fortune, 
it's go it's in your favor it's destined for you to be in this this queen of pentacles energy it is destined for you to be a millionaire i'm hearing something about the first millionaire y'all could have been seeing 10 10 as well yeah massive abundance is here cha-ching y'all about to get that and i feel like um y'all know what uncle Elroy said as soon as i got that check i was gone uncle Elroy got the fuck out of there Shit. I was too. Yeah, listen, and I'm coming back for you. This person somehow they're coming back for you. Give me this. I'm coming back for you. What they want. I was literally a blessing to you from the universe. Yeah, you were a blessing to this energy. And they tried to play you. Now they're losing. They're losing money. They're losing jobs. They're losing a lot of things here. They're arguing it. Um they're arguing too, it looks like. They're arguing about money. This is a, the effects of their spell work because for some of you, this energy was attacking you right the rest of whoever, the karmic energies that they wanted to, you to compete with that was trying to be like you. So now, mm -mm. for some of you, you need to start um, meditating, okay? You may need to tap back into nature. All right, let's get a couple more and we can close it down because I'm tired and I need to go eat. What's the messages here for my collective? Receiving karma for how they treated you. Yep, can't lose you. You're too good to me. This energy, yep, your ancestors haven't even forgave this person. They're still going through that karma. Now they want to move in together. Like, oh, no. For some of you, this could be your twin flame that's falling. They're in karmic energy. They're pretending not to care, but they're going through it behind the scenes because they got a lot of legal matters. Yep. Now they're seeing the truth that they should have been with you because they're using a karmic here for uh, money and a place to stay. But the energy, this energy could have showed you like a red flag. They cannot be monogamous. Let me see what this other card is real quick. Yeah, I feel like this energy, they think you dating someone else. And if you are dating someone else, you ain't even got to put your business out there like that. Date somebody else and have them to pick you up somewhere. If this energy knows where you stay at, date somebody else, but have them to pick you up, like meet at a corner store. Or, you know what I mean? I know it's like sad like that, but... Or just go out with a person. And if they pull up, then start some shit because they think that you belong to them or they're possessive. You're going to have to call them popos or whatever. Because um, I'm getting the energy that fails to do right by you. But it's still, they don't want you to leave them. They don't want you to go nowhere. They want you to always stay with them no matter what they do, whether they fuck up or not. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. I don't even know what the title of this video. Um, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. And y'all know we back at it on Monday with the cardinal signs that we gonna be doing. And, and that's just that. Okay, y'all. Oops. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. Bye.